I'm over here today because right beside me on the floor, I have a four foot round that I'm gonna do. So today will be a lesson in many things. I know it's not gonna look like a perfect blue. We know that for many reasons, I'll tell you why. Number one, my spinner. I'm using simply my regular cake spinner. By the way, uh, you can check my Amazon link. It has all the, the tools and stuff that I use. So I have my cake spinner. On top of my cake spinner, I put a two foot circle. I did use a bit of tape, to be honest. Taping, keeping things together is not even gonna work. It doesn't matter, okay? Whatever, but just for funsies, put a bit of tape, okay? So then I have a two foot circle. On top of the two foot circle, I place my four foot circle. Again, with a bit of tape, which is gonna mean nothing because I'm already, I'm gonna be lifting and spinning. So what we know is the spinner is already wonky. Okay, cool. It's gonna be like wonky. Um, number two, um, I didn't, so the pillow paint I'm using, <clears throat> You know, he's so, such a pleasure, that little boy. Um, the pillow paint I'm using is, I have Glidney Essentials Eggshell, which I left open my three days. However, I didn't have enough for four footer. So what I did was, I had some old Sherwin-Williams Deep Base, which is, but I didn't tint it. It's the, it's the blue label, okay? It's not their purple ultra deep base. So, and I've left it open a few days just to put around the sides so I can spin it, okay? What else did I want to warn you about? I'm gonna be grunting. It's on the floor. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like chaotic and messy. Uh, but I don't care because I haven't done a big one, like a four footer probably in over a year or maybe even two years I haven't done a four footer. So I'm really doing it for fun to see what we can get. Um, so it's more of like a fun learning experience because this has been sitting in my garage for two years. So why not use it? You know what I mean? Um, what else do I want to tell you about? I guess I'm kind of avoiding doing this whole thing. <laughs> um, whatever. Let's just get to it. Here she is. Right? So, might as well just like do it. Oh man, this is gonna be really a disaster. But that's okay, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my Gluten Essentials down first. Okay. And then I'll put the, and then I am gonna spin it because I do want even edges. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Go for it. All right. Oh, maybe I don't need as many Sherwin-Williams as I thought. Okay, bloopity bloop. So by the way, if you're wondering how much of that was so far, that was about 40 ounces, because that's my 40 ounce cup. So we'll do another one. Oh, I see it's a messy already. All right, let me mix up this for a minute here. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? We don't care. We're just having fun. I should make like a fun 80s commercial. Okay. Um, that's already something. Okay, here we go. I'm doing paint-wise, do you know what? Or is it just a little yucky in there? I'm doing pretty good. Maybe I'll use, but I don't know. Like maybe I'll use one, one or two cans, but. Okay, I'm gonna spin a few times. You're gonna already see how wonky it is. Blue. Yeah, see it's going that way. Then if I try to fix it, 
Oh, hold on, I see a bloop. It goes the other way. We don't, whatever that was, we don't want that in there. You know? We just want it to spin nicely. Okay. Um, all right. Maybe I will put my Sherwin Williams, get those boobies, and just do it. So this is what the Sherwin Williams can looks like. So this is what they use to tint their pastel colors. It's a little thicker. See how out of breath I am already? Jeez Louise, <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Okay. So we are going to go like this. Just so the paint has somewhere to spin and it's not fighting for its life, you know? You know what, that could be enough. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this and spread it out, right? Yeah, I mean, whatever. And I'll fix, if I have to fix anything, I can fix it. But, okay, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna use my hand. <laughs> Hello, paint. Please behave today. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't care that much if it doesn't work because um, it's not that much wasted paint in comparison to other things in life, you know? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to switch my gloves just so I don't drip paint everywhere. I believe we are ready to put the colors down. Oh, I didn't even tell you about the colors. I've been so excited about my life. This is that funny. Okay. I guess I'll tell you as we go, but I'll show you a little sneak peek of a swatch. Aren't I so funny? I had a plan and everything. Oh, you can't even see this light. And don't judge, it looks like bumpy and ugly. But this is the vibe, whatever. We'll discuss as we go, okay? Um, I'm starting with a TLP golden. I just spilled a little bit. Don't panic, everybody. Hold your horses. Oh my God, can I tell you something? On my last video, or one of them, someone, and don't go and look for this comment, whatever. Someone said, this is not like professional paint pouring. It's too hectic or too many jokes. I don't know what she said. And she didn't enjoy my vibe, which I get. It's definitely not for everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm not, I'm not professional that way. I just want to like paint and have fun and just, Kind of click record and do my painting you know what i mean that just reminded me because it is a little hectic sometimes when i paint because sometimes i don't know what i'm doing you know what i mean and i just kind of go for it but anyways i told her i totally understand and there's plenty of other professional videos out there for her to enjoy thanks for visiting <laughs> have a nice trip somewhere else okay this is Thalo Turquoise, of course. I'm not even gonna use that much of it, okay? Now, this is TLP Emerald. This is a really good exercise to, um, I'm like squatting, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Now, I decided for my interference to use a tube paint because I didn't want too many piggies because I want to see if I could hold up a bit of structure. So this is Triart Iridescent Turquoise. So it's kind of a tube because it has fillers in it. We'll see. It's not as like sparkly as TLP, but whatever. Okay. Then I have Diox Purple. I'm only gonna put a little bit because you know how bossy Diox Purple gets. Just bring the paint back here. I'll bring it back this way a bit. See, it's tilting down that way, which is fine by us. We don't care, right? 
I have no idea what's gonna happen, guys. Oh my goodness. Here we go, Dyer's Purple, just like, you know, a little bit because <clears throat> whatever. Okay. Then I have TLP Twilight. I actually do have a lot of piggies. <laughs> TLP Twilight. <clears throat> Twilight? Yeah, purple. And then I wanted some more gold. That golden peach is really gold. But I'm going to add some lemon sorbet. TLP, which looks yellow, but has a really nice gold tint. Okay. Now, I gotta stand for a minute. Whew. <clears throat> We're looking good paint wise. I need water. <laughs> okay, uh, the next color is one of my favorites. This is the old Holland. Um, Oh, like the light gray, but it's purple. Uh, gray, light. It's called gray something. Old Holland. Just a bit. I wish I remembered it, but you know I use it a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay. And TLP. I've just put a bunch of my favorite colors. TLP Sea Glass. And I'm gonna top it off with a color I made. So I took phthalo green and I added Amsterdam Prussian blue to it to make this like phthalo blue green, which is really pretty in my opinion. Oops, oops, too many dribble dribbles. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? That's it, I can't delay it anymore. So I have white cell activator now. Oh. It's a lot of paint, of course. So, I've done something in the past that I'm gonna use. So, I wanna make sure we're okay here. Get this out of the way. Okay. So, my regular hair dryer, this is a little trick. Okay, I have my regular hair dryer, and I took a funnel and I put it to make it a bigger mouth. That's my secret trick, okay? All right, let's do it. Let me move these paints out of the way. You nervous? I'm not nervous because I don't care, okay? That's my carefree attitude today. And I encourage you to have a carefree attitude as well. It's only a, a bunch of paint, you know what I mean? I'm gonna post this no matter what. That's my, even if it's ugly and I can't fix it because I certainly can't do another one right now. You know, I can't trash it. So you're seeing it good, bad and ugly, okay? Here we go. Okay, I'm just mixing up my cell activator. It looks a little thin, but whatever. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. All right.
Um, you see I took that thing off, it wasn't blowing enough for me, so I just took it off. And I made pedals and whatnot. And we're just gonna like spin it at this point, like it, I don't know, let's do it. Ready? <laughs> I want to know now. So now the trick is just spinning off all the paint the best that we can. Whew. It's making me dizzy. I can't look at it. The sparkles, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna spin it again. Let me just get this. Little corner off here. I'm not even gonna tilt it yet. It seems to be actually spinning. <gasps> okay. actually how much more I better spin it. Okay, I can't wait to show you the sparkles in the light though. Okay, hold your horses here. Cause I don't, you don't wanna overspin. This looks pretty. Um, when you overspin, you start to see the cells trying to reach for themselves. I think there's still a bit of paint left. So I'm gonna go slow, because I don't wanna warp the cells too much, even though they are gonna be like warpy, but when they start to like creep, it doesn't look good. And it, But if you don't spin enough paint off, then the cells get melty in the middle, you know? Not as horrible as I had thought, to be honest. And the negative space looks nice. Like I, I do want negative space. I don't want it fully covered. What are we looking at here? Yeah, I don't want to spin it much more. Um, okay, so there's a few air bubbles I want to pop. Uh, I don't hate it. Like there's a few, like I might take my skewer um, and just, you know, smoosh some things around. But all in all, not horrible. So, the problem is getting in the middle without ruining it. You know what I mean? So here's where you just do your like little fixes. Just popping some bubbles. Like I wonder, how are we doing with this paint? Let's see. Okay, you know what? I don't have that much to fix. It will, I believe the middle will melt a bit. And that's just gonna be okay. And you know what? You can definitely, when it dries, however melty it is, you can definitely embellish it, you know, and try to make it not look as melty yet. Cause I don't wanna spin it too much more, to be honest. Um, Cause I don't want the edge cells to start to suffer. So there you have it. Um, I'm pretty pleased actually. Yeah, the colors, the sparkles. Uh, is it like a perfect bloom? No, but it's not horrible. It could have really gone worse. So thank you for joining me. I'm gonna do a close up. Let me know what you guys think. I'm hardly even messy. Normally I have to struggle with it and it's a whole thing. Um, but I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. 
all that fun stuff. Bye.